Hello, I thought I'd make a quick video just talking about this warrior deck I've got. Uh, it's not actually because of what's in the deck itself, but I've just realised um, I've got out of Team Spider, I've got um, a th the 3 3 Winds Fury Inspire, and I've realised that's actually a pretty good finisher. In the, back in the day, I remember there used to be the decks that were very much based on you just had a Worgen, and then you would inner rage it, and then put charge on it. That sort of thing, and then there's all sorts of things like that, aren't there? Like, uh, you know, like when you see like Arcane Golem with the Faceless Manipulator, all that stuff, just to just a finisher, and the whole game is basically built around that. And it was just quite interesting because you can get, because I was just thinking, wow, you can get 10 damage for 8 mana. So, cause, I mean, and what I did obviously was just, um, yeah, it was three, the Wind Fury creature is a 3 3 for. Um, yeah, for four, I believe. It's four mana. No, no, it's three mana. Three mana for a three three with Wind Fury Inspire. And then you can just uh, buff it up with charge. And uh, it becomes a five three. And then that's a pretty nice finisher. I'm not sure how this deck's gonna go. I feel I feel like it's quite kind of like interesting though. Um but I just wanted to put it out just in case I wanted to um partly just to, you know to you know, just to see uh, yeah, I think it's quite a good deck. I like Sunwalker. See, so I've been thinking about this, you know, like there's a lot of warrior cards now, like the bolster and stuff like this. Um, I think it just, I want to, I want to make a more sort of, you know, warrior decks are often either, they're either really charge focused or they're really control focused. Like for instance, um, the problem with the control focus I found is if you play Priest, you're often guaranteed to lose if it goes to like really, really late game. Um, uh, yeah, because if you're playing control creeks, so they'll just, they'll just, because they'll just like, they'll just hold on to all their great cards to the end, and then what will happen is they'll end up having more cards for you when you do a Golden Monkey, so that's not great. But this is pretty cool though. You even got Gadget Sand Auctioneer. And in fact, Gadget Sand Auctioneer. In a warrior sounds like that doesn't really fit but when you think about it warrior like shield slam execute i mean cleave is not really cleave is not such a bad car i mean it's better than uh it's better than multi-shot isn't it yeah i mean it's a lot better really all you would need was some spell power with cleave and it would be a multi-shot um, but yeah it wouldn't really spell power in a warrior deck um yeah so i put some interesting things um, yeah, I would have liked Inner Rage for Guru Bashi. I've always thought Guru Bashi is, is really underused. I mean, even here I could do like... Yeah, I couldn't do that many decks with it. I couldn't do that many things with it actually, with this deck. Um, and so I wanted to... Well, I suppose I could do Revenge and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean I could do 5 and then 7 with the Revenge and then 10 charge. Wouldn't be that useful to be a 5 charging. Um, but yeah, I just found that particular issue of getting 10 damage for 8 mana pretty cool. Because there's very few ways to get 10 damage for 8 mana otherwise. Um, I mean, well, I suppose 2 fireballs is a lot more than that. Um, but yeah, I mean how can you get 10 damage for 8 mana? that many ways to do it just from nothing and that's the interesting thing looking at it it's like just how can you get that large amount of damage on the board anyway i just thought i'd look at this deck i'm not sure exactly how i'm going to do an arena but i will leave it there thanks for watching